What's up, black and white sports fans? John Matrix here, and I am back with another video. All right, we know about the events that unfolded yesterday where the Milwaukee Bucks and the rest of the NBA ended up boycotting all of the games for Wednesday because of the shooting of Jacob Blake. And now, folks, it looks like the NBA bubble may have popped. There's a lot of unrest inside that bubble. Not everybody's on the same page. And it could get very ugly and it could get to the point to where the Martis NBA of China League for 2020 could be completely canceled. These guys inside the bubble, man, they are not united whatsoever when it comes to either playing the season or not playing the season. And the ringleaders of actually not wanting to play the season is two of the best teams in the NBA. They actually pulled the players, the Lakers and the Clippers actually want to end the season right now. They absolutely 100% want to end the season. And when the Bucks actually canceled their game and actually boycotted their game, didn't want to play, they didn't tell any of the other teams what they were going to do. And so there's some division inside of that also. So this is a mess, to say the least. It is a complete mess because we know that some players, when they came to the bubble, they didn't really want to come to the bubble for different reasons. So I guess this is the excuse that some players wanted to actually get out of working. You got to remember, man, these athletes, you know, this is their job and they don't seem to really want to be performing in their job. They came over here to the bubble for social justice. That's it. One hundred percent. And that is really kind of tuned out a lot of fans. I said, I'm not going to watch an NBA game ever again. I'm sticking by that. These guys actually support the criminals and not the police that protect innocent people. Now we got more information on Jacob Blake. There were lies out there about him. Okay. They said that he was out there trying to break up a fight. That is 100% false. The police were actually called because of him. He showed up there and he wasn't supposed to be there and he did have a knife. It is confirmed. Jacob Blake himself even said he had a knife right there on the, the front passenger seat or right below the passenger seat seat. That's when he got fired. He may have also had a knife also when he was actually fighting the police. You have to look at that for yourself, but it's clear. This is who the NBA is backing a violent criminal. Okay. Now they don't want to play the season. They don't want to do that job. That's perfectly okay with me because nobody is watching the NBA anyway. Nobody was. So they're going to be meeting today, Thursday, I believe they said 11 a.m. Eastern time to see how they're going to proceed with the season, if it even happens. Now, when you have two of the best teams and LeBron has a lot of a lot of power in the NBA, they want to end the season. I think it is a huge likelihood that the season will not resume. There will be no NBA champion, no NBA finals, none of that. And this is probably what they should do. They should put their money where their mouth is. These NBA players, they've been kneeling for the national anthem. They've been wearing BLM t-shirts. They have it on the court. But what kind of action have they actually really done besides that? Nothing. That just tells me that they don't really believe in anything that they say. So, you know, it's easy to do all that stuff in the NBA bubble when you don't have fans. And fans aren't watching anyway. But it's easy for also for LeBron James to hide behind Twitter and put out all this fake outrage, this fake wokeness out there because he's protected on Twitter and a bunch of blue check marks seem to be backing him. But he, he got destroyed for uh, a post that he put up there. And I'm not going to show it here because it's pretty graphic. You can actually go to his um, his Twitter account if you actually want to see it. But this would be the perfect ending to a disaster of a season for the Marxist NBA of China, the same league that had nothing to say when Hong Kong people were out there trying to fight for freedom. They had nothing to say. They were in league with communist China. And now all of a sudden they now want to back criminals in the streets. They hate America, but they love communism. This is what they want folks. This is what they want. So will the bubble actually pop? I'm going to say it's probably a 70% chance that this season does not continue. And if it if the season does get canceled, 
these NBA players, man, they better actually be out there doing something about what they believe in. But I can guarantee you just about none of them will actually do anything. They're going to probably still be rocking the BLM shirt, saying stuff on Twitter. And that's really about it. They don't want to do their job. They're fake SJWs. Well, they're actually real SJWs because this is what SJWs do because SJWs don't truly believe in what they say. They virtue signal. All of this, all this charade going around the NBA bubble is nothing but virtue signaling. And the LeBron and all the Lakers, you know, they were calling for NBA owners to do something about this. What do you expect the NBA owners to actually do about this? The NBA owners, they're not law enforcement at all. They're not. The NBA owners have let the players run the league and run it into the ground. These guys are, are NBA owners. They own teams, as you guys like to call them governors because you want to be ultra woke. The NBA owners are not going to do anything. What can they really do? Screen for change. That's really about it. Go out and vote. You guys are already doing that anyway. But yet you still got criminals out there on the street. They want to get in fights with cops and they want to get killed. This is what they're doing. Jacob Blake did it to himself. He did it to himself, just like Rayshard Brooks, just like Michael Brown. They did it to themselves. They resisted arrest. This is what they did. I got my mom here right now, too, and she doesn't get it. She doesn't understand why these people want to fight the cops and resist arrest. Because they're criminals. They're career criminals. And the NBA is backing career criminals. It's just that simple, folks. It's just that simple. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? The NBA bubble probably will be popped. And the 2019-2020 NBA season will probably come to an end. Maybe today. Because there's actually games on the schedule today. I don't believe those games are getting played. I truly do not believe the games are getting played. There's supposed to be three games today. It's safe to say those games are going to be canceled because the NBA is really going to have to figure out what they're going to do. The NBA seems to be wanting to do one thing. Different teams want to do different things. End it all. Nobody's going to miss you because you want to be ultra woke. And the players, they're not on the same page. It's 100% clear. They don't want to play. I mean, you even got Kenny Smith walking off the set of TNT because he wants the virtue signal. And I'm a big Kenny Smith fan. He was a Houston Rocket. My team won two championships with us, but more virtue signaling. Some other sports, virtue signaling also. And you're going to pay the price. You're really going to pay the price because you guys don't actually believe in, in none of this. You really, really don't. But anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time.